it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I found this lovely park with a terrific church in the background. That's St Michael's Church uh, in Hamburg in Germany. Um, I'm in this wonderful park and I'm going to open up a can of Carlsberg Elephant Extra Strong. 10.5% ABV, 500 milliliter can, half litre can. Uh, without further ado then, we got a glass, we've set up, we're all ready to go. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. I've never had this beer before. Look at that. Never had this beer before, but uh, I did the special brew about a month ago and it did really well on the channel. Lots of people enjoyed the video. So on arrival into Hamburg, uh, woke up yesterday morning, went to the local shop and there it was, standing there, sitting on the shelf. And I thought, okay, it, it, it's a Danish beer, but there's a lot of Danish history here in Hamburg. Um, only 200 years ago, just across the river, uh, there used to be uh, well, it was Denmark. It, it was Denmark. The 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 fantastic Reaper Ban, uh, which was kind of no man's land, was the only thing separating Denmark and Hamburg in in Germany. So, quite a fitting thing. Carlsberg being a Danish brewery. Uh, nice levels of carbonation on the beer. Two finger white head. Clear amber coloured beer. Borrowed a glass from the hotel as well while I was there. Let's get the aroma. Morning. It smells very sweet. I, I forgot what I was for a moment there saying morning to people. Uh, it's not morning, is it? It's, um, I don't know what the German word for morning is. Yeah, it smells quite sweet. It smells quite hoppy. It actually smells really decent, like a really nice barley wine. Barley wine kind of lager. Malty, sweet. Yeah, let's uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. rather nice well, that is rather rather nice now being it's been in my hotel room now there's no fridge in my hotel room so I've had it sat on the windowsill outside um, there's no Sun so it's outside in, the, in, in a shaded area so that was the only way to cool this beer down so I think the beer is about it's probably about 10 degrees But I've had worse laggers. I've had worse laggers than this. It's it's got a lovely hoppy finish to it. Of course you get that kind of you definitely get that 10.5% ABV, the alcohol by volume. It is quite sweet. I think there's a level of kind of natural or maybe unnatural um, sweetness in the beer. I think they might have had some sweetness to the beer, but it's not giving off like that generic, cheap lager, cheap, strong lager, you know, just to get the job done. It, it's not coming across like that. This is coming across more of a beer with a bit of quality about it. Now. There's nothing on the the back of the can here. I know the special brew was, it was brewed for the Queen in England. It was it was something to do with the Queen. Uh, it was brewed for the kind of one of her anniversaries or something, or how long, however long she was in power in the UK. And or well, it was actually brewed for the Queen. I can't quite remember what was what was the answer with um, with with special brew, but I wouldn't be surprised. 
if there was a story behind this I wouldn't be surprised if this was brewed for you know some kind of great big event or great big important milestone in life you know, so some kind of crazy I don't know, mad event going on you know okay I'm standing here I'm, I'm in a public park um, lots of people scooting about the place on bikes and bits and pieces but um, it was my phone I'm sticking on there stick that on silent a minute yeah it seems more than a drinking it cheaply in a public park and it's quite a fitting I like to think that I found um, a fitting kind of church to, to, to review the beer in. But it's very good, it's got nice levels of carbonation. I'm able to swirl the beer around now in the glass. Nicely carbonated. Nice malt quality. The malt build on the beer is absolutely tremendous, I've got to be honest. Um, I never knew, I, I didn't know what I was going to expect with this. Um, it, it, it does have the word extra strong in red on the, on the label. Which suggests that, and it does have that 10.5% ABV on the can look. which draws in maybe your public park drinker but I think this beer's got a lot more to it than that I really do I'm pleasantly surprised by this beer if I'm perfectly honest with you I was well set up as a bit of a joke in a public park you know but I actually quite like it I actually quite like it as a beer It does have glucose syrup. I just read on the side of the can here. My German's not very good. Um, Carlsberg Deutschland. So it, it's been brewed as well in Germany. It has uh, water, hops, German malts, glucose syrup. Yeah, and that's that. That that's about it. So I'm ready to rate it. I'm ready to rate it. I think the alcohol content. You definitely get that burn. You definitely get that kind of alcoholic burn in your throat sits in the pit of your stomach but there's nice levels of sweetness with with a nice hoppy finish to the background i'm surprised they don't sell this in the uk anymore i used to see this well every now and again in the uk i think it do I, I think it do pretty well if they relaunch this into the uk i can imagine this being a big seller in germany i really do i'm gonna rate it looks good smells good tastes okay it really does maybe a little bit sweet for me but yeah it tastes okay i like that enough to give it a seven out of ten seven out of ten from real ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers